Syncing the edits from one photo to another or multiple photos in Lightroom is extremely easy. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. But first, don't forget to head over to naturemike.com for some great articles, in-field workshops, and private post-processing lessons. Here we are in Lightroom and I've got a grizzly bear. You can see I've done some edits here in the basic panel and I've also applied a few different masks to this photo. And now I wanna sync this with these other photos that are very similar. So I'm gonna select this first photo. You can see it's selected because of the highlighted frame here. I'm just gonna select a few photos. I'm gonna shift click over here and you can see everything from this edited photo to the one I shift clicked on are selected. Now I wanna point out there's two levels of selection in Lightroom. So we can see right here, this lighter one is the primary selection and the slighter dark gray photos are the secondary selection. So the edit from the primary selection will be pasted to the secondary selections. And then anything darker gray is unselected and won't be affected. So to sync this photo, it's, it's really easy. All I need to do is make sure I'm in the develop module. We can't paste develop settings in the library. We need to be in the develop module to do this. And then we'll come down to sync. And then we're gonna get this dialog box. And right now everything's checked. I could check none and just choose specific settings to sync, such as the basic panel, and that would sync all of my basic settings, or I could even turn a couple off if I wanted to. But in this case, I wanna sync everything. So I'm gonna choose check all. And one thing you wanna pay attention to is the masking options. And if you use an intelligent selection, such as select sky or select subject, that mask will morph based on the subject or the sky or whichever intelligent selection you used. Because of that, it's a good idea to label your mask. So you can see right here, I have my bear mask. That would be this one. It's the shape of the bear. And if I just close out here and just click here, you can see that's the shape. Now, obviously, if I synced this mask to this photo here, and it wasn't an intelligent selection, it wouldn't quite work out because the bear's in a very different place and in a very different direction. But since it was an intelligent selection, we don't need to worry. So I'm gonna go back to my bear and I'm gonna hit sync. Now these bottom three masks were made manually, meaning I used a linear gradient and a radial gradient to make these. Depending on the photo, you might want to turn these off. But in this case, this bottom gradient is just a, a linear gradient darkening the foreground. And then these other two are essentially a spotlight and a vignette. So we can leave all of these checked and I'm gonna hit synchronize. Since we used an intelligent selection, Lightroom has to analyze each photo and it will take a slight bit of time to adjust these. And you can see my thumbnails are now populated. And if I click on these, you can see my bear mask actually changes based on the actual animal within the image. Pretty cool, huh? So this is the way I recommend synchronizing one photo amongst many. You can also click on a photo and choose copy and you'll get the same dialog box as we saw in the sync menu. And I'm gonna choose copy and then I can just select this photo over here and choose paste. So this is another way to synchronize photos. And lastly, there's one more way we can sync edits. So I'm just gonna choose a photo here and I'm gonna shift click. So we've got four photos selected and I'm gonna hit the D key to get into the develop module. I'm just gonna come down to the sync button and toggle the switch to the left. And now it says auto sync. So whatever I do to image A will happen across image B, C, and D. So I'm just gonna do some basic adjustments here just so you can kind of see what's happening. I bring that back down. Okay. Just down and dirty, you can see all my sliders are moved and I can just click on these other photos and the sliders will always be in the same position. Now the danger of this is forgetting that you have this on and then accidentally selecting a couple of photos and making adjustments and applying those adjustments to multiple photos when you didn't mean to. And that's why I recommend turning this toggle switch off just doing your edits and then syncing them later. That way you can't accidentally overwrite edits that you didn't mean to. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And as always, head over to naturemike.com for some great articles, in-field workshops, and private post-processing lessons. I'll see you in the next video.